Cheers to my little girl for landing a position at the very prestigious law firm of Seraph Banks in Washington. <laughs> Soon to be Seraph Banks, Washington, and Thorne, or as we'll call it, Thorne and others. <laughs> well, I was the firm's top intern, handpicked by the Daryl Washington, one of Esquire magazine's top ten men to watch, and I got paid to watch him. <laughs> <laughs> After 14 years of private school, four years of college, and three years of law school, my business manager is ecstatic that you've ended up with a job. <laughs> Dee Dee Thorne is finally joining the workforce. You do realize that's Monday through Friday, right? <laughs> through this journey of discovery, through this journey of discovery, finding you and finding me, finding you and finding me. Now that I have someone special who brings out the joy. So, I said to Cameron, surely you don't expect me to go home with you before we finish dinner? And then he showed me his ripped abs. I said, screw the McNuggets, I'll get us a cab. So, Mona, we're getting down to the wire. What's going on with these producers you've been promising me for the talent search? Trust me, they are mega A-list, and I am minutes away from closing the deal. So, who are they? You know, I hate secrets. And Jim Belushi, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Look, I know it sounds superstitious, but I just, I don't want to jinx it. Fine. You know, I'm really trusting you on this one. And if you don't come through, that's your ass. Adam, your phone's just ringing and ringing. Oh, sorry. I'll go turn the ringer off. Here's the final contracts. I dotted every I and crossed every T. Woo, I can breathe again. You know, I can't believe we actually signed Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, the most successful music producing team of all time. I gotta go tell Kai. Wait, wait, wait. The, the dates are wrong. No way. We booked them for a year from now? How the hell did this happen? It must have gotten switched at some point. I bet it was Cheryl in business affairs. You know, she's had it out for me ever since I dropped her off at the BART station after we had, uh, relations. <laughs> She lives in Oakland. I was tired. Look, you can't blame this on business affairs. I trusted you with these details. I know, but don't worry. I think I got a plan to fix this. What are we going to do? Change all the computers and calendars to next year? Okay, then give me a minute to come up with plan B. <laughs> so you're telling me in order to get Jimmy and Terry, all I have to do is find a new producer for Pink, pay for a Learjet to fly them in from London, and get Pete Diddy to cancel his white party. Let me get back to you. No, I'm not crying. It's just a bad connection. Oh, baby, I hate to see you so upset. Have some gumbo. Nothing relieves stress like gumbo. Yesterday, you said nothing relieves stress like chicken pot pie. Well, yesterday I had chicken pot pie. Today I have gumbo. <laughs> now, eat up. I can't believe I blew the biggest opportunity of my career. But it's my own fault because I put all my energy into my first choice. Oh, and baby, I, just... I know what you mean. I did the same thing with your father. Ma, you're not helping. I'm running out of time here and I need somebody with a name. Have you tried Morgan Freeman? He's a celebrity and he likes music. And if you need help sealing the deal, I'd be willing to have dinner and then some. I just got the worst news ever. Bangs are going out of style. No, the firm that offered me the job is downsizing and my mentor, Daryl Washington, and I got downsized with it. You lost your job before you even got it? Girl, let me get you some gumbo. Nothing relieves stress like some gumbo. This is gonna take a whole lot more than your mom's leftover leftovers. Oh, please, you'll just get daddy to fix it for you like you always do. Mona, I'm a grown woman. I don't make a habit of running to my daddy every time I have a problem. Didn't you get him to send over his mechanic this morning because your Beamer had a flat tire? That's different. That involves grease. <laughs> and didn't he get you this very job? No, dad's connections might have gotten me in the door, but I'm the one who earned the internship and I'm the one who got the job offer. Then problem solved. If you got this without daddy, you can fix this without daddy. Of course I can, and I will. And you can't have your mother talk to daddy about fixing it either. Damn you. Hey, I brought you some forgive me brownies. You think you can make this better with food? But they're homemade. 
All right, they're from a mix. All right, I bought them. All right, I found them in the break room and took them before Thick Nicky from Promotions got to them. But my heart was in the right place. Spencer, my job is on the line, thanks to you. The finalists are going to be here on Friday, and we only have a week to get them ready for the showcase, and now they don't have any producers to get ready with. If the finalists tank, Kai's not going to sign any of them. So look, you need to think. So close the door on your way out, if you can do that right. Wow, you're really mad at me. Maybe because I was up all night trying to find replacements because of your screw-up. Mona, I can't tell you how bad I feel. But I better take these brownies back to Thick Nicky, because if she gets hungry, Nobody's own meal is safe. <laughs> Kai's looking for you. I told her you were out getting your hair done. She found that hard to believe, but it bought you a little time. <laughs> Thanks. Just, I don't want to talk to her until I figure this out. Have we heard back from the other producers? Yeah. Three are in the studio, two are out of the country, and one is getting calf implants. And that's not where he needs a little extra, believe me. I just can't believe the showcase is falling apart. Mona, every cloud has a silver lining. Let me tell you a little story. The time, last Monday. The place, the coffee station. You have been spending way too much time with Big Didi. <laughs> you can't spend too much time in the presence of greatness. Anyway, Dave was arguing with Harry from accounting about some unpaid invoice. Well, it got more heated than either of them expected, and the next thing you know, they were having a vicious slap fight with the hot chocolate packets. <laughs> All the while, I stood calmly by, observing. Gotta be a point in there somewhere. My point is, there's a similarity in that and what's happening between you and Spencer. Hello? I'm not involved in either conflict. <laughs> For once, I'm blameless. My job's secure. You call that a silver lining? No, I call it a friggin' miracle. <laughs> So you can see from my academic record and my stellar performance here that I am an asset to your firm and it would behoove you to keep me. I will work diligently and without complaint. I truly believe it is in the best interest of this firm to reconsider my reconsideration. I must say I'm very impressed by the eloquence of your speech, Ms. Thorne. And even more impressed that you managed to slip past security and get in here to see me. <laughs> You can file that under resourceful. Now, can I file my name under employed? There's no question in my mind that you belong with this firm. Oh, I knew you'd agree. Unfortunately, I have no say in the matter. You see, my position has been eliminated as well. But you're the seraph of Seraph Banks in Washington. If Washington is gone and Seraph is gone, then... Yes, it's now just the law firm of Banks. May he rot in hell. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Same thing I'm doing, start looking for a job. With the economy the way it is, I'm gonna call my daddy first. He's got great connections. <laughs>
You've run out of wisdom. That's why we're in this mess. Just, I'm gonna have to find a way to talk to Jimmy and Terry alone. No agents, no managers, and no stories of imminent death. You'll just get Daddy to fix it for you. Sweetheart, please let your father help you. No. No. <laughs> that is weak, and I am better than that. Hello? Hey, Dee, it's Daddy. Did you just call me? Uh, yeah. I just called to say hi. Hi. Uh-oh. I recognize that tone from your mother. You need something. Are you going to wear it or drive it? I do need something. I need to let you know that I love you. I love you, too. Bye. <laughs> Damn, caller ID. Dee Dee, this thing with the producers has gotten dead. What are you doing here? Uh, Dee Dee was just catching me up on what's going on with her. I knew she'd get around to it. Tea, Mona? It's hot and you might burn your tongue, which would keep you from saying something you shouldn't. Uh-oh. Sorry, girls, I gotta take this one. It's American Express. You know, ever since my heart attack, they always give me a heads up when your mother's on a shopping spree. <laughs> Break it to me gently, Yolanda. I got my medicine standing by. I knew you'd go to Daddy to fix this. I haven't told him anything about my situation, and I'm not gonna. But that would be completely out of character. Uh, how can I be judgmental if you keep changing up on me? I like to keep you guessing. But it has been hard not to ask Daddy for help, especially once I realized I'd exhausted all my other resources. I guess we both needed a plan B, huh? Yeah, but I've never needed one before. Usually by this time, fate has stepped in and rescued me. Well, Dee Dee, you just have to have faith in your own ability. But I do have to give you credit for not running to Dad when the law firm rescinded their offer. What? Sweetheart, why didn't you say something? I can fix that with one phone call. <laughs> hey, I didn't tell him you did. You. Isn't the cloud over my head dark enough? Well, I'm here to lift it up. Because I got Jimmy and Terry on the phone. They rearranged their schedule and they'll be here today. If you're lying, you're going to get a stapler to the head. <laughs> nah, it's true. I just did what any strong male professional in my position would do. Cry like a woman until they said yes. <laughs> Thank you! I can't believe you did it! Ah, it was your idea. Besides, I was the one who messed things up. I couldn't let you take the fall. Because you know I would have put a staple in your head. <laughs> I'm going to go tell Kai the good news. Thank you. Yes. I take it things are back on track? Yep, and I owe it all to you. Mm. How long did you tell Jimmy and Terry Mona had to live? <laughs> Three months. I thought the extra month would make it less of a bummer being around her. Out of thousands of submissions, you are the best of the best. I know most of you thought you'd never get a shot like this, but you did. You deserve it. Don't blow it. I love it when Kai takes charge like this. Mm -hmm. The strength, the power. I feel oddly aroused. But she's a woman. Well, everyone has a flaw. This is going to be an intense and exciting week, and it's already started out with a highlight, you've met me. And now Mona Thorne, my wisely chosen protege, has a special surprise. I'm about to bring out two legends in the music business. Now, these guys will help determine who gets a deal with us. I'm as thrilled to introduce them as you are gonna be to work with them. I give you Grammy Award-winning super producers, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis! <laughs> Obviously, you know who we are, and if you don't, you shouldn't be here. Yes, this is correct, Jimmy Jam. So we came here to hear about you. So, you're gonna get started right over here. I'm Chip Days, and I'm a 24-year-old singer-songwriter from the ATL by way of Hartsville, South Carolina. 
I'm Tiffany. And I'm Serena. And we are Pole. We're singer-songwriters from New York. I work in merchandising, and Serena works at a bank. I'm Craig. And I'm Zaina. I'm an 18-year-old singer-songwriter. And I'm a 22-year-old songwriter slash rapper and a part-time construction worker from the south side of Chicago. I'm Yasmeen. I'm 22. I'm from Oakland, and I've been a singer-songwriter for the last four years. And we're Jambalaya from L.A. I'm Sean. I'm Marson. I'm Regina. I'm Andrew. And when we're not playing music, Andrew and myself are waiters, Regina's in marketing, and Marson's a photographer. Now that we're done with the kumbaya, let's get to work. <laughs> Mona look pretty good for somebody in her condition. She's not contagious, is she? No. Well, today was a total waste of makeup. Speak for yourself. Oh, that's right, you always do. Look, I know I get paid to listen to people complain, but by the time I got to my last patient, I was fried. And after she droned on about having to stare at the computer screen all day, I snapped. Oh, you hate your job? Well, there's a support group for that. It's called everybody. <laughs> and when are you seeing you're a shrink again, Ma? Tuesday. And I hope she's in a better mood than she was the last time. Oh, hey, Phyllis. Hey. Mona, can I use your laptop? I'm researching new law firms and my DSL's not working. You're still looking for that job? Yep, the search continues. I stopped Dad from making that call. It wouldn't have worked anyway. The man has no juice. I don't know why you put him on a pedestal. Okay, I do know. Makes it easier to look him in the eye. I'm just gonna keep looking until I find a job on my own. Because I chose to believe my big sister, who said, if I have faith in my ability, something good will happen. Something good will happen, right? <laughs> Dee Dee, what makes life interesting is not always knowing what's gonna happen next. I'm Mona Thorne. Mm -hmm. These are for you. Really? Really? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're from Jimmy and Terry. Oh. For a brave girl in these trying final days. What does that mean? Uh, I guess it means the finalists are also talented. It's going to be tough deciding who will sign. But wasn't it thoughtful of them to send these? Mm -hmm. Sure was. <laughs> Usually, to score flowers this nice, you gotta be dying or something. <laughs> I believe I have a small Asian man to crush. <laughs> and I am extremely embarrassed and a little disappointed to admit I am not dying. <laughs> and I understand completely if you wanna back out. Come on, girl, that's not us. We always knew Spencer's story was a little shady. I uh, love what you're doing here, so you can count us in. Great. Yeah, and besides, we may have a chance to transform somebody's life. Yes. <laughs> get a chance to take a break from the studio and possibly get a little sleep. Mm, sleep, <laughs> I've heard of that. <laughs> well, I love you guys, and thank you for telling me that Spencer's the one who told you I only had three months to live. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a large black man to crush. <laughs> If you have any questions or you need anything the night of the showcase, see Adam. He is our point person. Oh, venue management specialist. <laughs> I think you should be happy with the title employee. <laughs> and Spencer has hired his shady friend, Maceo, to shoot everything going on this week for a documentary. And this isn't Girls Gone Wild, so I don't want to see anybody drunk and naked. <laughs> this label needs to sign a breakout artist. Some of your jobs are riding on it. I won't say who. That's part of the fun for me. <laughs> so, get out there and make me proud. Or at the very least, don't embarrass me. <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me? <laughs> so about the finalists, do you have an early favorite? Because if you do, I could really clean up in the office pool. First of all, that's unethical. And there'll be a problem in the music business because... <laughs> Secondly, I have no inside info to give you since I like all five acts. Well, you have to like four of them a little less, so get ready to crush some dreams, toots. <laughs> Can you believe Kai? What does she mean by don't embarrass me? Jim and Terry, my favorite super producer! <laughs> What's up, dog? Listen, uh, 
I thought we were supposed to hook up together last night. I went to that club y'all told me about, but I ain't see y'all there. Uh, something else came up. Huh. Well, y'all wanna hit that place tonight? I think something else is gonna come up tonight, too. <laughs> well, you gotta tell me how you hooked up with such hot women. I want me one of them. I mean, not yours, but somebody hot. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. Okay, well, I I'll call you. Yeah, uh, okay, good, good. Damn, we're gonna have to get the cell phone number changed again. Yes. <laughs>